Ramaphosa is said to have voluntarily met with the ANC's Integrity Commission last week over allegations of a cover-up at his Parapara farm in Limpopo two years ago. Earlier this year, former Director General of the State Security Agency, Arthur Fraser, laid a criminal complaint against Ramaphosa for allegedly concealing the theft of millions in foreign currency from his game farm. The engagement with him, he left, we will meet this coming Wednesday to deliberate, to, do, to, to evaluate our interaction with him. Then we report, right? They report to the NEC, they will decide what to do. It's not the first time that Ramaphosa has appeared before the Integrity Commission. In 2020, he appeared before the Commission to answer questions relating to his CR17 campaign. Not much came out of that appearance. As a result, many are saying the Commission is toothless. Some are calling for the body to be strengthened. The weakness in the system is that. Uh, their recommendations are uh, submitted to the office of the Secretary General and, and it ends there. So, so they have no authority to ensure that the National Executive Committee actually acts on their recommendations. Uh, and that's something that uh, may have to be strengthened by giving them original authority. Because at the moment they are a substructure of uh, the, the National Executive Committee and, 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 and I think they do need original authority from conference itself uh, so that uh, they can act uh, and ensure that their recommendations and decisions are given effect to. There are also calls from within the party for Ramaphosa to step aside as investigations into the Parapara saga continue. As the first citizen of the country, none of those things should be associated with him. Uh, and um, maybe we as the ANC should have taken a different position on this, set each other down and said, look, how do we explain to the world how the first citizen of the country finds himself in this situation? But uh, we all tiptoed around the issue. It's the first time that it has happened. We've had, I don't know how many presidents, we've not had a situation where we've been confronted very directly with a matter of this nature. Once the commission has completed its work, it will submit a report to the party's National Executive Committee, which will decide on the way forward. Yodi Sanjomela for SABC News in Johannesburg.